Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tetsu from Dust Orcades Gaming, and today I'm joined by... I'm Sam of Dust Orcades Gaming. And we're going to be playing a full solo challenge through Pokemon Red version, utilizing... Charmander, the greatest starter Pokemon of all time. That is arguable. That is not arguable. Bulbasaur is the best. Bulbasaur is not the best. It is. It is Charmander is the best of all time. No, Charizard is the best out of the three evolutions, but Bulbasaur is the best of the three evolutions. Uh, it's not even debatable. It's Charmander. Bulbasaur. Charmander. Bulbasaur. Charmander. Bulbasaur. Charmander. Bulbasaur. Charmander. Bulbasaur. This is not fixing to be three and a half hours unless you're saying Charmander Bulbasaur. It, yeah, because it's Bulbasaur. No, it's Charmander. Bulbasaur. Charmander. Bulbasaur. Charmander. Bulbasaur. Charmander. Bulbasaur. Charmander. Bulbasaur. Charmander. Bulbasaur. You know, people have probably cut this off by now. Probably. <laughs> uh, hello, everybody. And uh, again, we're going to be p playing a solo Pokemon run with just Charmander. Uh, so what do we name the rival? Uh, YouTube. How about that? <laughs> that fit? Yeah, that fit. Yeah, that should fit. That should fit. We'll be taking on YouTube in the world of Pokemon. <laughs> uh, you know, and the funny thing is, we watch other people do Pokemon, solo Pokemon challenges, and Tetsu's actually done a couple of solo Pokemon challenges, and we even have a versus challenge that we've recorded. But we've come to the idea that neither one of us can actually write a script. Yeah. So we figured if we're going to do this, we're going to do this, like, live commentary over it. Yeah. So... Let me readjust that so the sound doesn't get picked up. But So yeah, if you've uh, never seen Pokemon Red before, welcome to Pokemon Red. Where the hell have you been for the past 20 years? Well, I mean, I know a lot of kids that probably wouldn't have played this. Eh. I mean, we're both Gen 1ers. Yeah. So. But, all right, let's <laughs> run off into the tall grass. Oh, hey, wait, don't go out. <laughs> I want to bang your mom. Here's a Pokedex. <laughs> uh, not even three minutes into the video. Here we go. Uh, yeah, it wasn't three minutes into the video, but at least I made it two <laughs> minutes and 42 seconds before I made that joke. Yeah, fair enough. Let's follow the old man who will give us his balls. <laughs> Gosh dang it. Well, we're not putting it under the kids' channel, so that's fine. Well, yeah. No. Uh, and YouTube's fed up with waiting. <laughs> yeah, you YouTube is very impatient. Just like in real life. YouTube, oh, that's right. I told you to come. Just wait. He told YouTube to come. There's a sex joke in there somewhere. There's always a sex joke in everything. Oh, yeah. You know what's really funny is that I'm playing a Game Boy Color game, or a yeah, Game Boy Color game, a Game Boy game, with a Sega Genesis controller. Yeah, that is actually pretty uh, cool. How modern how, uh, technology uh, has changed. <laughs> <laughs> well, mostly because I saw it at Target like six months ago, and I haven't used it yet, so... That's fair point. Uh, that's that a squirtle. squirtle. That, is, that is not a Charmander. That is the exact opposite of Charmander. Oh. So, and there's Tetsu's favorite Pokemon. I forget, because I think they're... Aren't they switched, like, in Fire Red? Around? Mm -hmm. That Bulbasaur was first, and then... Maybe? Hmm. Honestly, I don't know. So, here's the question. What? Do we... Do we do the reset thing and do the smart thing and get a Charmander with basic stats, or do we just frickin' wing it? We might as well just wing it. Yeah, that sounds about right. Let's wing it. Because, I mean, no offense, but I don't exactly have the patience to sit here and do that, do you? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, do we want to give a nickname to Charmander? Why not? You got one? Uh, How come the Pokemon's name can be longer than your actual character's name? That is a good point. Yeah. Huh. Uh, we can call it, uh... Let's call it Bulbasaur, because it's funny. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Wait, do you know how to spell Bulbasaur? That is not how you spell Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur. It... <laughs> Bulbas... Bulbasaur. Uh... There's an A, right? Yeah. And then an S, an A, a U, and R, right? I, I believe so, yeah. Uh, we're not gonna call it Bulbasaur. Let's call it. <laughs> Let's call it Squirtle. That's a, that's a lot shorter. Let's just call it. Um, call it 
XXX. <laughs> Let's just call it Pikachu because that's hilarious. Uh, going with your inner Madrai bread, it seems. Yeah. <laughs> Sub to him. Very fun. Oh, yeah, very fun. Uh, he's done so many challenges. Have you seen his latest one? The Only Trades in Black? Yeah. I haven't watched it yet. Uh, it was interesting. I mean, how many trades are there using that black version? There's a few, but like before, like you, most of them are like after the main game. So like, there's only three that you can do before the Elite Four, right? So yeah, uh, not exactly his. It does. It's not exactly a big team. He has three, uh, though. He did get a Baskelin. Which is interesting. All right, well, here we go. Our first battle of the game. So let's use our Pikachu the Charmander. Yes. A flaming uh, weird fish. Now let's... <laughs> oh, dear. I mean, you know, for the first battle, I mean, it's all about attacking. Yeah. And but, it's lowering our defense. Yeah, the, the Squirtle did not get the memo. No, I mean, come on, Squirtle, you want... Oh, actually, I'm curious about something. What? I, I was recently watching a small ant uh, subscriber on YouTube. Uh, he's a he does a lot of interesting game challenges, right? And one of those challenges, actually, I think a couple, uh, are can you beat such and such Pokemon game? Ooh, ooh, wow, wow! Had he crit, that would have ended. <laughs> and we didn't get the one in two fifty six glitch there. Yes, uh, but basically, oh. Oh, yeah, Pikachu Ooh. leveled up. No, look at them stats. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> 11, 11, 12, 11. Okay. Uh, uh, you're going to have to look that up, because uh, I think that's damn near perfect. I'm about to say, you're the, you've are the you got the, you know. Well, I mean, we'll look it up in between um, yeah. episodes. Because we can only record, like, for an hour, because, unfortunately, for whatever reason, I'm still trying to figure this out. My game, my uh, recording, recording software, which is uh, Cam Free Cam Eight, is pretty decent, pretty decent uh, free program. Uh, for whatever reason, it keeps recording to my C drive, even though I have it set up to record to my D drive, which has a lot more space. Right. Uh, I have not been able to figure out why. So we can only record about fifty minutes to an hour uh, per episode. Yeah, and then I've got a put edit all these episodes together to get the full thing actually you know what maybe we shouldn't just do all one giant video we should just upload it in parts as we complete it i suppose but wasn't the incentive for us to just do it in one go and i mean we just do it one go i mean all you really have to do is just slap the audio on top of the fucking video and then that's a good point you know i mean we're just doing commentary at this point yeah. as i take out this level four tata yeah oh uh, also, uh, whenever we do get the chance and we want to do it, I already have the randomizer set up for the uh, Nuzlocke randomizer light. Hmm. Well, that is just a good piece of technology. And we're already <laughs> at level 7. And, yeah. yeah, I would say that's probably a good Charmander. Yes, very, very good. <laughs> and there was no resetting or no nothing. That was me straight up. Even we had the debate about resetting. Yeah, we... Uh, I mean, laziness conquers all, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, who needs the Pokemon Center? We don't need the Pokemon Center right this second. <laughs> I may I may regret saying that come Misty, but, you uh, know. Yeah, let's do a No Hills right now. <laughs> no, we're not. No, no, no. no, no, no. no. This is not a No, po this is not a, uh, no Poke Center challenge. No, it's just uh, solo. No, no, no evolving. Uh, uh, so while we're doing this, talking about the solo challenge, let's lay out the rules, right? No po items in battle. So no items in battle. We're going to need other po Pokemon to use HMs, obviously, because the game is impossible otherwise. Yeah. That's not Gen 3. Yeah. So other than that, uh, we can use whatever tools we have at our disposal. Yes. Items are allowed outside of battle. I just want to make that perfectly clear. Oh, and just so people, you know, don't correct us in the comments, Pokeballs are allowed in battle because, I mean, we actually do have to catch Pokemon. Right. Uh, that's all. Because I know somebody's going to bring that up. <laughs> I just got to remember not to hit the C button on this. Why? Because that's 
like I had to assign the speed up button to a button. Mm-hmm. So I got to remember not to hit C. Yeah, because unfortunately, this as nice as this program is, it does not handle speeding the game up very well. No. At, at all. All right. So let's get the Pokedex, and we'll begin on our way. Now, i got to ask you a question. Hmm. Do we fight Rival 1A? Uh, why not? Just go ahead and get it over with, I guess, and a little bit more experience. We're obviously going to try to do this also in addition to the lo- at the lowest level we could possibly do this as, because it just makes it more fun. Yeah, so no over-leveling then, to an extent? Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't think we need it. Well, I know we're not going to need it for Brock. No, we get Ember. We can take that and beat it easily. Yeah, considering it's uh, his and Geodude's special is atrocious. <laughs> right. Uh, but I don't know about Misty. That's, uh, I suppose their defense isn't very well, high. Well, I mean, the thing with Misty is we're just, Actually, you know, we can... The thing is, we can skip Misty and come back to Misty after we do the SSN. That's true. And now this isn't going to be like a minimum battle thing either. I'm not doing that. Yeah, we're not J-Rose. Nope. Uh, that dude's crazy. <laughs> also subscribe. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> but I well, mean, just, I mean just, if you want to know what a minimum battle challenge is, go check out his stuff. I mean, it, it, he's got him on red, blue, yellow, and uh, gold and silver. It's crazy. Yeah. Because when you see literally the amount of times you battle in one game, mm-hmm. I mean... Oh, and I think I lost my train of thought with the small ant thing. Uh, again, subscribe to YouTube. Uh, he does some very interesting challenges, and one of those challenges, and I think he's done this in multiple games right now, is can you beat such and such game without taking damage? Right. And as far as I know, he's beaten every game he's done that rule set with. That's nuts. It is, especially considering he streams everything. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, if I recall correctly, he once spent eight hours biking just to level up his uh, Pokemon in the daycare. Why? Because he needed the his Pokemon to be a certain level in order to one-shot with Quick Attack. Uh, yeah, I suppose it's true. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> it's quite interesting. Uh, the amount of patience that somebody has to have to do that mm-hmm. now granted again he was doing it on stream so he had people to talk to people to chat with you know that that kind of allevi- <laughs> alleviates the boredom oh so what you're telling me is you're gonna get bored because you only have me to talk to for the next three hours huh no nah, not particularly we've got tons of topics we could go for uh whether it be wrestling or you know just reliving... check out the podcast yeah <laughs> reliving the good old days of pokemon uh of check pokemon. out the podcast games and grappling yeah we already uh, l- uploaded our second episode. <laughs> we promised there'd be one new episode of that every week. Uh, it just the, the whole trying to narrow down a day of when it goes live. Yeah, depends on how much free time we have. Yeah, because editing does take a minute, especially if I want to make a good editing. I should have brought that bottle back here. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> oh man. Oh dear. But let's see. Uh, if I recall correctly, uh, he's level 9 right now, right? Should be level uh, 9. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, level yeah. 9 Pidgey. I think it's level 9 Pidgey and level 8 Squirtle. Okay. Uh, does it know bottle oh, at this point? Oh, oh, sand attack miss, 25% chance status moves miss. That's a guess. We oh. probably should have bought a whole bunch of potions, because if we lose... Not, you're not using items in battle. No, I mean... I wh- saved before we did that. Yeah. Oh, you did? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Well, that kind of alleviates things, I suppose. But it does mean we're not going to get the experience. Which, I mean, we're not even going to beat this thing, so it doesn't well, matter. Well, I mean, you know, at this point, we might as well just go ahead and click that button real quick. Yeah, might as well, might as well. So, uh, let's just skip Rival 1A for now. And if we need it, we can come back and beat him later. Oh, yeah. That was a, uh, that was an attempt. Yeah, that was an attempt. So Could, couldn't even get past the dang Pidgey. <laughs> well, <laughs> which, uh, to be fair, Pidgey's not a bad Pokemon. Uh, in this generation, it is. Well, yeah, in this generation. Uh, 
it, which kind of sucks because Pidgeot is a really awesome Pokemon. Uh, actually, that brings up an interesting thing. Uh, you've heard of Twitch plays Pokemon, right? Is that the thing you were playing in the car on the way home from work today? Yeah. Uh, apparently, uh, a while ago, uh, a dude did basically a social experiment where uh, he set up a program so uh, hit an entire chat uh, on Twitch could uh, play basically play uh, Pokemon, one of the uh, first generation games. And it, so the chat that basically you're saying is a chat played the game. So the guy played the game, but he did everything according to what the chat said. Uh, oh no, the chat played. Basically, what they did is they put in a command, and that in uh, the program would go with that uh, suggestion. So mm-hmm. basically, a whole bunch of people, like, you could have a whole bunch of people uh, press up, 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 others going down, 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 a whole bunch of random directions, and it would do it. That sounds like a stupid idea. It, it was definitely chaotic, but they managed it after, what, like 13 days, I think it was? <laughs> That's Thir- crazy. Yeah, 13 days straight, and Twitch chat was able to... Uh, Beat Pokemon. <laughs> Dude, Stringshot just missed like three out of four times. Huh. Oh, Pikachu leveled up. Yeah, but we need to get to level nine. I, I don't even think at level nine that's going to be enough. I don't know. It might be. Mm, maybe. I don't know. Scratch is doing more damage now. That's true. Caterpie. Granted, it is a Caterpie that you're attacking. <laughs> true. But that tackle only did two damage. I'm saying for an early level. Well, that one did three. Huh. Oh, it didn't crit. So. Alright. Let's see. Okay, so the buck catcher is down. So, do we just want to go all the way through Viridian Forest and then go back and deal with him? Mm, no, because I think if we have Ember, when we... Well... Because our defense and special are higher, our speed are higher now, so I'm pretty sure we might have perfect IVs and, or EVs and, is IVs or EVs in Gen 1? I think it's EVs. I think we might have perfect EVs and speed, which would mean, you know, is always a plus. Yeah, I think IVs are for new. But this is all going to change, this is going to speed up the second we get Ember. That's true. I mean, especially considering most of the bug Pokemon in here. Uh, actually, as far as I know, there's no train. Actually, uh, wasn't it in Pokemon Yellow where there was a trainer that had a Pikachu? Not in Viridian Forest, no. Hmm. I'm just. I could have sworn. Hey, come on, Widow. You want to use String Shot on me? Come on, please. I'll be your best friend. Uh, oh, oh, we're poisoned. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, I got to level up right here. We have to level up on this one and get Ember. Uh,. There we go. Okay. Give me that sweet flight. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Woohoo! And it's a Kakuta, so eh, that's not bad. It's at least not gonna. Oh, wow. I ain't got a burn. I don't think that's gonna take it out, though. It might. Uh, it might. No, oh. it did some damage, though. The good thing about Gen 1 is you don't take poison damage on a knockout. This is true. Or when you, uh... And I were level 10. Yeah. Wow, that was quick. <laughs> that yeah. was a quick level up. So let's see now how good this does. Oh, yeah, that's one, one hit KO. Nice. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and use a potion. Yeah. Because yeah. the antidote's right up here. Yeah, there's one in a tree, too. So... Wait, you didn't grab the one at the beginning of the forest? No, because I thought it was one up here. Or is that only in Fire Red and Leaf Green? It might be in Fire, Lim- Fire Red and Leaf Green because there is one like at the beginning of the forest in that starting tree. Hmm. Oh, dear. Alright, we got three potions. Uh, that's true. That's true. Going through the forest, hoping not to die. Okay, we got 12 more steps. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, mm, four. Okay. One, two, three. Uh, 
<laughs> Just being extra careful. Yeah. Oh dear. Oh, it's a potion. I mean, you know. Something. Alright, let's take this guy on and get to the Pokemon Center. Yeah, there's one right in front of him, too. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that big tree right when you walk into the forest uh, on the left side? I have 20 hit points. That'd be enough. Yeah. The left side has an antidote just to help with his pip. <laughs> For a, a, a rather old game. Yeah. But uh, you know, you never know. You might I mean, he's only a level 9 Weedle. And I have, you know. Ember. Ember. I mean. I should survive. No. Yeah, oh, critical. Critical. <laughs> Well, it probably, crit, would, it, crit probably would have, it probably wouldn't have survived either way, but still, that's pretty good. All right. Level 11. Cool. So I might not actually, I don't know. I don't know if I might have to use another potion to get to the Pokemon Center. Uh, it would be nice if you... No. Well, apparently... The, oh, oh Kakuna. Kakuna. I just love the Gen 1 sprites. Yeah. So crazy. I mean, to be fair, some of the back sprites could... Uh, get a tune-up. But other than that, yeah, most of the front sprites are actually pretty good. They look worse in Japanese, by the way. In red and green. These were the tune-up sprites. Actually, green is, uh... Green and blue share the sprite look. The looks of the sprites. I don't know. I think I can make that. Uh... Oh! <laughs> I was actually... My heart nearly stopped. Oh, dear. Oh dear. Alright, so we're level 11. Yeah. That and should be enough to get to Brock. Through should, Brock. Yeah, it should, should be enough at least. Yeah. But we're going to save in front of Brock because he's on the safe side. <laughs> Roger. <laughs> okay. But, uh, and we got that trainer right before him. So We're not, not fighting that trainer. We're not? No. Why? It's not minimum battles. Because. I don't need that. We're trying to do this at the lowest level possible. I'm, that's... Fair, I guess. And as fast as possible. Actually, we're level... level two. Onyx is level 12, isn't it? Or level... I think it's level 14. 14. Hmm. Probably. Hmm. Well, I guess we're about right. to find out. Let's find out. Let's we battle Brock. Dun, dun, dun. Alright, here I we go. I don't wear a shirt. Cheetah Dude's at level 12. Hit him with an ember. And they don't have any rock moves, so it's not like we have to jump. That did a lot less than I was expecting. Yeah, but it's special damage, so. Alright, we want defense curl. Yeah, better than taking a hit. And since we're not attacking, we're not attacking its actual defense, Ooh. we're attacking its special, yeah, which the, is not very high. Yeah, the defense buff doesn't do anything. Oh. That's not looking good. Oh, that's critical. We're not getting very good luck. No, 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 no. Definitely not. Definitely not. Burn! Another crit. Uh, no burn. And a right. defense curl. Well, All right, so we're going we're gonna to make it to Onyx with 11 health. Yeah, hopefully uh, Brock does the infamous constant bind. Well, 14 health, actually. Bide. That, that's the word. Bide. Question is, will we outspeed Onyx? We do not, and we're... Probably gonna die. Crap. Burn. No, don't. We're out. Uh. Oh, Ooh. we live. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. Uh, yeah. Th this is not looking good. Critical hit. All right. Oh, we got a burn, but Brock has full heals. Yeah, but he's gonna waste a turn at least. Let's burn him again. Dang. Ah, crap. Oh, oh one oh. HP. <laughs> Come on, we can do this. Well, not really. Oh, you know what? We can risk it. We can risk it. If we get a three-turn buy, we can risk it. I don't know. We're going to have to get, like, back-to-back -back credits. Come on. Oh, it was a three. Oh, dang, it was a two. Because uh. sometimes it'll do three. Dang it. Oh, well. Oh, well. We tried. I don't feel like we got very good luck in that battle. No, definitely not. We might want to face that trainer <coughs> in front of him. Like, if only to get that level up. Uh, 
Okay. I guess we can do that. Let's see. But yeah, I was expect. Well, we didn't get really lucky with burn. Actually, what's the burn chance in Gen 1? Like 30% or 10%? I don't know. I think it's like 10. Uh, yeah, that's pretty bad, actually. Yeah. And then our we don't even. Our defense is pretty crappy, too. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, crap. We're being. Oh, well. Uh, three hit. I mean, at this point, there we go. We got the diglet. And he's got a sand. Exactly. Shrew, that's right? still not enough to level up. Dang. We're going to outspeed Sandshrew, though. That's good. What's the Sandshrew going to do? Uh, well, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's bad. Dismiss! No. Ah, oh, boy. Uh, okay. You know what? We could just do the Brock battle again and see, because we probably got bad luck on the Brock battle. Probably. Probably. I mean, what he needs to do is go for like six turns of defense pearl. Which, I mean, we could try it. We've only done one Brock battle, so. Yeah. And again, it's not minimum battles, but I don't know. <laughs> it would be nice to be able to skirt through him. But, oh well. Again, no charge. Alright. Some of the sprites, though, I will admit, are a bit interesting. Like Geo Dude, he he looks like he has a butt chin on his head. All right, so we're off to a good start. We got a defense curl turn one. Yeah. Oh crit. Yeah, we need nice. we need a couple of those. Maybe we can get a burn. He can waste a turn to full heal. Nope. All right, we're gonna tackle. Yeah. You know, what if I use growl on it? Uh, another defense curl. Let's use a couple growls. Hmm. Another defense curl. Ember. Another defense curl. Okay. Another defense curl. Could use another crit. Not that Not bad. Oh, another defense, another curl. defense curl. Was that six or five? I think it was six. All right, so he's gonna be attacking now. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> okay, never mind. Go down. Oh! Ugh. How much did that reduce it? Oh, only four damage. So his growl's coming in clutch. Yeah. At the very least, we have more HP than we did before. Yeah, level 12. Growl's coming in clutch. Uh, is that 16 special? 18. 18, okay. Oh, okay. Fine. So, we got a growl. Burn? Yeah! Oh, yeah! Is that going to interrupt? I don't think it's going to interrupt. Fine, though. Fine, is it? I don't know. Honestly, I've never actually thought about that before. Uh, I guess not. No, apparently not. Oh, oh it one two fifty six. Oh, we got the one at 256 glitch, dang. too. Oh, okay, we want to see Screech. Well... Okay, Not right. too many screeches. Yeah. But... <laughs> I mean, our defense isn't great as it is. Oh, uh, no. It's... no, it's using screech on me now because I used three growl. Come on, burn. No. How right, much is that going to do? Okay. Not as bad as I was expecting. Well, granted, Onyx is attacking. Got another burn! All right, let's go for another ember. Come on, burn. No. Uh, I tackle. It's not. That's not doing a lot of damage. Oh, it could be worse. Burn. No. Oh. <sighs> okay. We we get. Well, we if I get off. a crit here, I'm gonna go for it. No. <sighs> we could. We, 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 we do we risk it? I mean, I think if we get a three turn bide, we win. Yeah, but if we don't, we lose. Let's go for it. Yeah. <laughs> We might be able to get a crit. Come on. We might be able to pull this off. Yeah! yeah! All right, Pikachu. <laughs> the Pikachu of Charmander has beaten Brock at level 13. Yeah. Well, technically at level 12. But, but yeah. First badge is in the books. Yes. And we get Bide as a... Uh, as a TM. But that, I don't really care much for that move. Can Charmander even use it? 
think so. Because huh. I know it can hit ghosts, but I mean, it's not going to be. It's going to be rather pointless considering we've got fire moves. Uh, let's see. Well, I guess that kind of depends because Gastly's fairly special tank mm-hmm. for it for its uh, for first evolution so, pre evolution. So what we're gonna do now to the Pokemon Center. To the Pokemon Center, go to the Mart. We're gonna go buy a couple Pokeballs. Do we want some repels? Can't buy repels still for a million. Oh, right. See, I remember certain stuff about Red. <laughs> Admittedly, there are certain things I, I certainly do not remember. Oh, dear. It's a Clefairy-looking thing. Mm-hmm. It's a Jigglypuff. <laughs> well, it's a Jigglypuff. Uh, you're, you're probably right. I know it's I'm just, right, because it's, just... it's a freaking Jigglypuff. It looks like a Clefairy, though. Uh, yeah, some, some of the uh, overworld sprites are basically the same for some Pokemon. Five of these, so we have them. Alright. And. Actually, I, I think we're gonna go ahead. I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna catch a Pidgey out on this route. Uh, Pidgey, a Spear out on this route. Yeah. And that'll be our flying type. We can switch it for uh, do, for Do Duo later. Well, for... we're only using Charmander in battle, so what does it matter what the HM Pokemon are? Because it's Do Duo. We also probably need to. We're also going to have to catch Paris in that move. That's true. For cut. For cut. Yeah. Unless we can catch a Brout, Bell Sprout. Uh, Wait. Does Bell Sprout land current? I know it does in the later generations, but I actually don't remember. Anything. I have no idea, but as we're making our way towards Mount Moon and Charmander is just obliterating these bug types now. Yeah. Gotta be. Actually, I'm trying to get set up for a run, a challenge run in the Pokemon TCG Game Boy Color game. Really? Yep. I want to do uh, a Caterpie line run. So it's going to be Caterpie, Metapod, and Butterfree. And I'm going to have four copies of each. Because uh, I've been recently watching some more different challenge videos. Mm-hmm. And one of those uh, individuals is uh, Paris Spectre. Uh, he's actually done a whole, uh, like, I think 24 videos for uh, James Bond, mm-hmm. for the James Bond games. Yeah. Hey, just to let you know. Mm. Do you know shorts are comfy and easy to wear? Considering I have to wear some at work under my pants. Well, I mean, this is the guy that's a, the line. Oh. You, you, you just told people what you wear under your pants on YouTube. Ah, fair enough. <laughs> I'm pretty sure nobody was thinking, man, I wonder what that Tetsu wears under his jeans at work. Probably not. No. But hey, we work in a factory, so I mean, it, it's comfy. We got a crit. A crit on the Rattata. Yes. But anyway, um, yeah, it, Paris Spectre had, does... Gen, uh, yeah. Gen 1 Ekans just looks so weird. Oh, speaking of which, there is an interesting glitch with Ekans. Well, Rap specifically. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, By the way, as you're saying that, Rap just missed twice. Right. Well, I mean, it doesn't have the best accuracy. But did you know that rap can hit ghosts? Mm-hmm. It just doesn't do damage. damage. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I, I, I didn't know that until like a couple of months ago. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> Shoo. It's just one of those little quirks of the Gen 1 games. Oh, boy. Uh, but anyway. Um, I mean, I, you, you can keep talking about that because I'm just sitting here killing bug catchers. But, uh. Basically, the guy has done some history videos on the James Bond game <coughs> scene, but very recently... And <coughs> one's not enough is the best one on N64, just saying. But, actually, I haven't because played I, a whole bunch Because I've played the crap out of that game as a kid. Everybody loved Goldeneye, and for some reason, like, I just loved the movie The World Is Not Enough, yeah. and they were two separate versions of that game. One was on the N64, and the other was on a PlayStation, and it was like, I mean, two separate versions, I mean two separate versions. Mm-hmm. There were two different levels, different, like, they were same levels, but there were a lot of differences between them, mm-hmm. and we just learned Lear. Yeah. And we're already at level 15. <laughs> That's true. That's true. I uh, mean, maybe we should start thinking about maybe not taking so many battles. Well, I mean, we do have Misty coming up, and Star like Starmie has Bubble Bane, doesn't it? I, yeah, but I'm not facing Misty until I get Body Slam. 
That's true. And that's not the SSN. But we do have to get past our rival, and I'm not battling her. Is there... Well, no, I think that's in a later gen, where there's, like, an item down there. Anyway, um... You want to have this? No, you can have it. I think I hit you. I got another one right here. Crack open a nice Mountain Dew. Yep, not sponsored. Uh, anyway... That's going to be her running gag until we actually get sponsored by somebody. And then everything we're like, oh god, look, they're actually sponsored for once. Yeah. Anyway. And you don't, I'm just going to say this right now, you don't want us doing sponsored ads. No. Because it'd be like, Pepsi. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's just be like, all right, Kyle, shoot the ad for, shoot the ad for Pepsi. Pepsi. <laughs> oh dear oh dear anyway uh but very recently and again like in the last month or so uh Perispector ended up doing two challenge runs on the tcg game right uh one of them he was using uh basically an exact copy of one of the trainer's decks uh but the first challenge he did was a Paris and Parasect run, where he used four Paris and four Parasect as his only Pokemon. Right. Just to go ahead and say this out loud, because that just happened. Uh, this is a Charmander-only run, so there is no Charmeleon, no Charizard. Yeah. Straight Charmander. Yeah. And, of course, we're going to find a Jigglypuff when I start looking for a Spearow. Jigglypuff, Jiggly. <laughs> Uh, Come on, we need a spear. We need a spear. There is uh, a spear. What level was it? Level six. Thing. Does it really matter? What now, it? do I attempt to just use Scratch? Uh, no, I, I really don't think so. Because <laughs> I just do it anyway. Oh dear. Oh. oh okay. okay, that worked. Yes. So <laughs> I really thought that. I mean, if that would have crit, that would have been the end of it. So. Uh. Alright. Let's try. Yep. We got ourselves a flying Pokemon. Um, let's see. What else can we do? Um, but like I was saying, four Paris, four Parasects. So he only had four basic Pokemon and four evolutions. And he took on all the medals. He beat the uh, Grand Masters and the Rock. Because the TCG game is really heavily inspired by. Uh, or heavily influenced yeah. by the original <laughs> Pokemon. Is Pidgey. Yeah. Sorry, Pidgey. You are too late. So, anyway. Go okay. ahead. And he ended up being able to beat it. Right. It took him, uh, I think... It didn't take him long, actually, from what I remember. I can't remember the exact time, though. But uh, it was pretty good, and that inspired me to want to do a bit of a challenge in the TCG game myself. I figured, what's more gimmicky than Paris and Parasect? Caterpie. <laughs> Why not? Uh, I mean, there's only a Caterpie plush sitting right here on this desk. Mm -hmm. And a Butterfree. Yes, we're, we're missing Metapod, sadly. I mean, Weedle's right there, too, but... Yeah. Weedle just vanished like Ash trying to catch Weedle in the anime. Yes. Alright, so we're in Mount Moon. Yep, in the Mountain Moon. And, you know, it would be really helpful to me if we just conveniently ran into a Paris. Isn't Paris in the lower levels, though? Like, you have to go down one of the oh, ladders. Oh, it's a Zubat. Zubat, 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 Zubat. <laughs> Everywhere uh, there's a Zubat. Geodude. <laughs> Anyway, uh... Oh, crap. Yeah, this is a constant in here. <laughs> this is a real constant. No, I mean, I ran in front of that trainer, and I wasn't trying to battle that trainer. Eh, wouldn't be too bad. Oh, well. I mean, the goal is to get out of Mount Moon in this fight. Yeah, try to get through battle. We gotta battle a few uh, rocket grunts and such. Uh... I can't remember. Can you get Mega Punch? Like, or is I Mega mean, you can get Mega Punch in Mount Moon. Yeah, I, was I don't know. If, I mean, I can't remember if you get it from a dude like outside of Mount. That's Moon. in Fire Red and Leaf Green. Okay, so it is Fire Red and Leaf Green. 
Because I know you. I mean, we can get Mega Punch and replace Scratch. Yeah. Because Scratch just really isn't doing it. I need to turn that off, by the way. Uh, what? I need to switch it so it doesn't do that anymore. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, we gotta put it in set mode. I don't know, it's something we thought about at the beginning of the game. Mm -mm. So Matter of fact, I mean, if this was just a solo challenge, I mean, it is a solo challenge. I mean, if this was like a speedrun and all that stuff, I'd turn off animations, but I like animations. Yeah. And, like, it, it kind of seems pointless when in the very final stretch when you fight the rival, the animations get turned on anyway. Spoiler alert. Yeah. If you can hear that, just me furiously tapping the B button. <laughs> Yes. Because I'm like, I'm gonna... I'm gonna forget to hit the B button. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> so, text speed, battle animation, set. Cool. There we go. Alright. Well, what next? Grab the rare candy. Yeah. And... Is this like a... No, escape rope always is for hell. Actually, uh... Question. I might do, have an answer. Do rare, like, I know in some of the later generations that this occurs, mm -hmm. but can rare candies be used as revives in the first gen? Mm-hmm. Okay. I've never done it, so uh, I was actually curious. Yeah, no, I'm just going to... This is the never-ending Z-Bat parade. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Basically. I can't wait to get to Vermillion. Uh, should we actively try to find a Paris? I mean, I'm going to grab Mega Punch, so. Because I'm pretty sure it's only in, down in these areas right here that um, Paris actually shows up, so. HP up. I kind of forget. Mega Punch is in here, right? I think so. It should be in one of these uh, ladder areas. Huh. Ah, ladder. <laughs> Uh, too bad. <laughs> oh no, champ. You know, Paris is more common in the lower levels. I mean, it might be. I'm pretty sure. I mean, look. Oh, oh Geodude. the Geodude. <laughs> Odds are the next one will be a freaking Clefairy. That would be that would be our luck, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. Uh. And since we have this anyway, might as well use it. Uh, for what? Oh. HP up, right? Mm -hmm. I was thinking of PP up for a second. Why would uh, I have a PP up? I don't know. I mean, I could literally run back and forth in here and try to find a Paris. Mm -hmm. And this is not a Paris, I'm going to be mad. No, it's mm -hmm. a Geodude. Or <laughs> we could do this in the spirit of the challenge. <laughs> and just go. And just go. And if we find a Paris, we find a Paris. I still am pretty sure that Bell Sprout learns cut, but I could be wrong. <coughs> okay, we got a last. Yeah, two Oddish, I think, is what she has. That or Oddish and Bell Sprout. Yep. I have Ember. Yes. Set those weeds on fire. Oh. I didn't one hit KO it. Wow. Uh, well, Oddish is more specially oriented than majority of everything, so, eh. And that time I got the crit when I didn't need it. Yeah. Uh, which, if this doesn't one hit KO Bell Sprite, I'm gonna be. Uh, apparently, it did. It did uh, the exact same thing, and then it just raised its special yeah. by two stages. Or was it growth one stage and then one? Uh, it would be one stage, but because it's special, uh, it's engine offensive one. defense. Yeah. Cool. Kicked her ass. Trying to now. Where's the other uh, ladder at? Uh, further down. Further down. Come on, be a Paris. No, nope, it's a Zubat. So you said it's only an hour at a time we can record on this, right? Roughly, yeah. So we're about fifteen minutes away from that. So we might literally get out of Mount Moon. We might. This Paris? is a Paris. No, nope. oh. that's a Zubat. 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 <laughs> Just I'm, be like, I, I might clip. That. All you gotta do is just be like, <clears throat> those dork is gaming searched for hours and they never found a Paris. Unfortunately, the great Paris hunt of 2021 was a failure. Ooh -ee -ooh. Oh, God. 
<laughs> yeah, watch this be a Paris. Nope. No. <laughs> uh, I mean, like, I have never had this much trouble finding a freaking Paris. Uh, it's always when I don't want to find one that I wind up finding one. Like, I, I, like, I normally, like, I'm just sitting here thinking, like, our luck in this run so far, like, I would feel like we would find Clefairy faster. Probably, yeah. And that's Mega Punch. Yep. Go ahead and work that into it. Now, do you want to get rid of Growl, Leer, or Scratch? I suppose Growl would probably be preferable, considering Scratch would is more accurate. And it actually is an attacking move. Well, not what? Good base power on Mega Punch, though. Wait, wasn't there something on that stone? There's a Moonstone. Oh, all right. Since we're not... We got a Rakata. No, that's a Zubat, not a Rakata. No, I mean with the trainer that's coming up. <laughs> we don't. If I don't battle that trainer, we don't. Oh, yeah, because you can go around him. Ah, look at me. I was about to say, if he looked down. Yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I told you we were going to run into a Clefairy before we found a freaking Paris. <laughs> should we? Uh, I was about to say, should we catch it just for the sake of it? <laughs> Why? Can't learn strength. But we're going to get Lapras for that. That's a good point. I don't know, moral support. <laughs> be, a little, just, be a little cheerleader. Just, you know, it's the meme. The meme is happening right now every step of Zubat. <laughs> you well, know. not every step, but yeah, pretty dang close. Oh, there's a thing there. Is that Moonstone or was that yeah. Paralyzed? So this is obviously the chance right now if I were walking down this hallway and I just walked back <laughs> and then I went back again because you know there every we there we go Paris 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 Paris, Paris, no. Paris. <laughs> you know and I know realize I only want Paris for cut because I'm gonna teach Charmander dig yeah I mean technically we could teach cut to Charmander but that wouldn't be the best idea <laughs> is this gonna be a Paris nope I'm looking at the clock on the recording time right now and I'm like I know I have to get out of Mount Moon in this episode might as well come on. So, I'm going to try one more <laughs> random encounter, and I swear to Kami, if it's not a freaking Paris. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'm just like, I can just see the comment session going, it wasn't a Paris champ. What are you going to do? You didn't say. Uh, okay, let's see if we can get by this girl. There we go. Mm -hmm. That's quick. Alright, uh, hopefully we can avoid, uh, running into Zubat. I mean, we only have, that's where, Tetsu? Hmm. Why do you jinx us? I don't know. <laughs> Just like, oh, hope we avoid running into the Zubat. <laughs> yeah, the moment that I say that. Uh, oh, you're the one who jinxed us this time. Ha! <laughs> yeah, you think you're real funny, don't you? <laughs> Uh, not really. All right. So let's see. Uh, we got to battle one more grunt, and then we got to work towards uh, either Lord Helix or the Dome Fossil from Hell. Yeah, uh, I know I didn't really have to save right there, but, um, you know. Yeah, just in case. <laughs> I was actually wondering if that was going to be a Paris. <laughs> I'm facing to take out my frustrations on this rocket grunt. Let's see. I think he has a Rattata and a Zubat. No, no, no. I was about to say, it is a Rattata. So should we try a Mega Punch? Let's try a Mega Punch. And of course, it has Quick Attack. It's a Rattata, yeah. Any Mega Punch hits. Does it knock it out? No. Oh, but well, it's quite a lot of damage. Enough that I feel comfortable switching to Ember. Yeah. If not, just for the accuracy. Burn, baby, burn. Just go with Burn. I was gonna go with Burnt Rodent, but yeah, that works. How much is that gonna do? Not very much. I mean, almost half. But I mean, <laughs> that's Bad. not gonna do much either. Uh, Mega Punch. 
You did quite a bit more. Yeah, did quite a bit more. And you know what? Just because I'm feeling generous, we're going to use all three attacking moves in the same battle and finish it off with a scratch. I'm kind of concerned about your concept of generosity. I brought the, I brought the pain. Uh-huh. You forget Chris Ew. Jericho. You can just call me the pain maker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to say, because Pikachu's doing all the work here. I'm the pain maker. So, yeah, should we go ahead and heal after that? Probably. Yeah, let's go ahead and heal up. Because we are about to face Coughing, Grimer, and I think a Voltorb is what this guy is. Uh, it's a freaking Paris! Okay. <laughs> Finally! Uh, oh, dear. Oh, oh. okay. <laughs> we, we should be... Let's, uh, let's, let's catch it. These don't run away, do they? No. I know it doesn't really matter, but I'm holding down B. <laughs> I, I would do the same thing. I'd do the same thing. It's an old myth that I know doesn't work, but... Yeah. I mean, I've been doing it for 20 years, so... Might as well. There's nothing wrong with doing it. Well, we finally caught a Paris. Yes. <laughs> like on the last leg of everything. Yes. Uh, save after that. Alright, now. I'll talk to this guy. Give us Lord Helix. Are you gonna do the joke? I mean, I mean, you, we both like my dry bread, so I mean, you probably have to do the joke. I suppose so. Mega Punch or Ember? Uh, it's more physical, isn't it? Than... Yeah. It's also the fact that Mega Punch isn't nearly as accurate. Oh, ooh. luckily that's only that's random, so it could very well miss Ember and still be able to take it. Oh, that's a crit, but that actually didn't do too much damage. No, but okay, yeah, Voltor, and I think Coughing is going to go last for the, Go for the Mega Punch on Voltor. Critical hit. That's two times he's attacked and two times he got a crit. And we got a crit right back. <laughs> Thankfully, we were due there. Yeah. All right. All right. Now. Got Kofering. Kofering. I know I'm rolling the dice using Mega Punch. Yeah, because it's not very accurate. Okay, let's go for Ember. If this was real life, that coughing would blow up. <laughs> okay. And we got a 1 and 256 miss. Yeah. It's okay. It's not bad. Yeah. Luckily, that also can happen to the AI, and not just us. Because otherwise, that would be incredibly frustrating. Alright. And now here comes me smashing the B button repeatedly over and over and over again. Yes. Alright. Are you going to do the joke? Uh, do you remember the joke? Hey, my dry bread, if you ever watched this, we took the Helix Fossil because of you. Yeah. And we know if we didn't say what we took, you would ask... So now that, you know, ask anyway. <laughs> Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and I know I just butchered that, and I'm so sorry. We do watch your crap all the time. Yes. I've actually been watching his le a lot of his Let's Plays. Well, not his crap, but, you know. Yeah. But uh, I've been watching a lot of his Let's Plays lately. I ended up watching his Nancy Drew <laughs> Shadows at Water's Edge Let's Play. And I'll admit, I, inc I incredibly enjoyed it. It was I was surprised. <laughs> I think I remember like randomly playing uh, a Nancy Drew game at school once. What like, is oh, TM4 again? Uh, I do not know. Whirlwind. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be some money. Yeah, I suppose. Uh... Well, so we beat Brock. We had some setbacks. Early on. Yeah. But we oh. managed to get through pretty dang quick. Overcame Brock on our second try. Yep. Got through Mount Moon without any struggles. Though we did have a bit of a frustration trying to find a Paris, which we got in the end. We did find a Paris. At the very end of Mount Moon, but we found a Paris. Oh, yeah. And we're going to heal up. So, with that, I think that's where we're going to end part one. Yeah, I suppose so. 
We uh, made it to Cerulean. We're in Cerulean, so we're going to go ahead and drop a save. And we're 48 minutes into it, so making pretty good time. Yeah. But come back for part two when I'm pretty sure the frustration is going to sink in a little bit more. Most likely. So anyway, I'm Champ. I'm Tetsu. Thanks for watching. Take Bye. care.